Hi guys, so I'm just doing a quick abbreviated get ready with me video using the Too Faced Christmas in New York palette. Um, this is my first time playing with this palette and I love it. And I just skipped doing my foundation and everything because I do the same thing every day for foundation. And I don't want to just keep showing you guys on repeat. Um, so I will get on to doing this look. Right, so let's get started. I'm going to try and do my entire eye makeup using this palette and not resort to any others. And I think that's pretty possible because there's a really good range of colours in this. So I'm going to use this top one called Coconut as my brow bone colour. And oh, I can actually smell these as I'm working with them. That's so nice. Um, so I'm not really up to much today, I'm going to meet my parents, um, I was meant to be uh, going to the gym this morning but I didn't go, because I'm a bad child, um, I've just been sat on the couch watching Gilmore Girls, because I'm an adult. If Andy watches it, comment down below, we'll have a chat about it. Um, so moving into my kind of crease area. I think I'm going to try Tiramisu as a um, blending colour first of all. Um, transition colour, that's the word. Do, do, do. And I'm just going to grab my mirror. I don't know why I didn't put it up there in the first place. Yeah, I think the Dolce De Lecce might have been a little bit dark. For a transition colour for me, um, I'm glad I went for the tiramisu. So these all seem to be sort of dessert and food themed, um, potentially macaroon flavour uh, names. So you will notice that as we go through. So I was supposed to be off work this week coming but I've had to cancel. I'm supposed to be going down to see my boyfriend's parents but he's ended up not being able to get home. He actually works at sea. Um, so he's currently sitting off Tenerife of all places. So I'm just going to keep the same brush for my entire crease. Um, I do that quite a lot. I find that it, well, everything blends a bit nicer when there's already a bit of that colour on there. Um, so I'm going to try this chocolate or raspberry shade. Look how the sparkle in that's catching. Hmm. Um, sorry, easily distracted. So we're finally past Halloween and Guy Fawkes night. So I have actually been sitting with this palette for over a week. Um, but, you know, I I don't like the fact that Christmas seems to appear as soon as, God, as soon as September's done, if even, um, people skip to Christmas, even though you've still got Halloween, you've still got Guy Fawkes night, it's a bit insane, um, but, you know, it's the way it is. Um, but Guy Fawkes was last night, so I now feel like it's acceptable to be playing with Christmas sets, so that's what we're doing today. So after the chocolate raspberry I'm going to take a tiny bit of the cookies and cream which is that dark black sparkle and just deepen up the very outside of my crease with that. I already had primer on before I started by the way, I just didn't film that because it's the least exciting thing for you guys to watch. And yeah. Okay, so I'm undecided what to do with my lid. To be honest, it's between the really bright Violet Kisses or Honey Lavender. Ah, uh, decisions. I hate decisions. Um, um. <sighs> Right, I think Honey Lavender today, actually. 
I feel like the crease is very warm toned, like the colours that I used in there. Um, and the violet cassis is a very bluey purple to me. I don't know. It just doesn't seem the best to go. So I will try it another time, just not today. I'm just going to check this up close because I'm actually quite short sighted and um, yeah. So that honey lavender colour is actually really really pretty. Um, I really like that. You're about to see my horrendous fallout but you're going to zoom in to see that colour because it's pretty. Hmm. Right. Okie doke, I am going to fix my fallout because like I said, it's quite bad. Um, let's just kind of weak that off. Let's check that I have weaked it and not just blended it in. We're good. Um, do I want to do, yeah, I want to do my lower lash line I think. So I'm just going to kind of mimic the um, crease colours, so I'm going to get tiramisu and do that quite blown out under there. So that's quite a nice subtle lower lash line colour actually, um, if you wanted one for day to day during the week. And then chocolate raspberry. Tiny bit of cookies and cream. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay. And just because I want to use it, um, this champagne rose colour looks really gorgeous and shimmery, so I'm going to have a quick brow bone highlight with that. That's, I like that. It's very subtle. It just catches the light and doesn't really add much colour. Which is awesome. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, and then I'm going to do some eyeliner. Using my Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is just a permanent favourite for me. Um, I just find it so much easier to use. So let's just get in there. So I'm so glad we can now get Kat Von D in the UK. They're selling it at Debenhams. But, I can't figure out whether we're going to get the Metal Matte Palette or whether I should just order it from Sephora. Um, I did try asking on Twitter, but I didn't get a reply. Which is very annoying. Because it's quite expensive and it will be enough for me to get um, import charges on and I don't really want to pay that because it's not... You know, it's a big palette, so it's not cheap to begin with. So I wish I had more to chat about, but honestly this has been such a dull week. Um, I've just been in work every day um, and stalking my boyfriend's ship online to see where they are and try and work out the odds of them coming home and um, yeah. So. The size is way thicker. Okay. So, mascara wise, I suppose I better use the Better Than Sex that comes with this, which doesn't want to come out of its little bit in the box. Um, come on. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this does not want. It was glued in, it wasn't just sat in the packaging. Jeez, oh, that's why I couldn't get it out. I was thinking I was going crazy there. Um, 
All right, let's get this on. So I've been watching loads of YouTube videos as well as Gilmore Girls this week. Has anyone seen Tati's video with the magnetic false lashes? That is crazy! I mean it seems like a really good idea but um, I think they went wrong on one point where they did only put one tiny bit of magnet on so there's nothing at either end to hold to the shape of your eye and it just kind of pings off at either end and doesn't look good because that's the you know the, the difficult bit to get right with false eyelashes you've got to make sure you've got your ends pinned down so that everything's gripped to the shape of your lashes but the guy the guys, I'm assuming that's, you know, just a general term. The guys who designed those ones, I'm assuming didn't think of that, um, which is strange. Because you think they would have had people like testing them and feeding them comments back and things like that, but they don't know. They did not. Okay, so the Better Than Sex is a really nice mascara. I've had it before. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to quickly pop on some blusher. Um, I've just got a Tarina Tarantino doll skin palette here. I think I'll go for this more kind of slightly plumish one. Do, 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 do. And I don't really want a strong blush today. Not feeling it. Okay, and then for highlights, any mini mini mo, will I use my normal highlight or will I pinch an eyeshadow out of here? Um, I think I'm going to try that Champagne Rose as a highlight as well. Well, you know, a cheek highlight as well as a brow bone highlight. Oh yeah. I'm going to admit it, I keep using this palette because of the smell. Um, and then for lips, I'm thinking uh, Bear from Illamasqua, which is a really nice nude. A slightly darker nude for me. For my skin tone, anyway. You can tell I'm short sighted when my mirror just keeps up and up and up and more into the camera. Okay, and that is me. The very last step for me with my makeup is always to give these a little clean because whatever powders I'm working with gets all over them. But that is my uh, quick little look with the Christmas in New York palette from Too Faced. Um, I've got a full review video up for this as well, um, which will be linked down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye!